Hello YouTube friends. I've been putting this job off for the longest time, but it's no good. I've got to do it today. This is what the weather looks like at the moment. It's very pretty, but apart from going down to see the hens, to give them some food and make sure their water's not frozen. I'm not going out in that today. It's quite overcast. It's not one of those sparkly, beautiful, wintry days. And anyway, I've got this massive task to do. It's all part of the ongoing big house clear, tidy, reducing the things that I have and um, making everywhere look a little bit more um, lovely. <laughs> So today, it's the shelves, and if I can get my energy going, it'll also be the cupboards underneath. There. So I'm going to make a start on all of that now. My plan is to take everything off the shelves, everything, give them all a really good clean. These drawers here are just full. I keep shoving things in them, so I'll empty all the drawers out, throw away the things that I don't need, put things in different places and just have those drawers pretty empty and get this looking like... So what I want to end up with is the few pots and dishes that I use every day, plus a few extra in case I have visitors, which is never going to happen. Uh, because we're back in this big old lockdown here in the UK and I'm not seeing anybody. So I saw the weather forecast yesterday and it said it was going to snow again uh, today, which it, it has. It was right. So yesterday I went to the supermarket uh, and stocked up. So the fridge and the cupboards are full now of all the things I like to eat. So I've got enough food to keep me going. But I keep looking at these shelves. John made these shelves for me and I, I absolutely love them. I really do. And a few years ago, I painted the cupboards underneath. There are all these videos of there back in the annals of time. And then also I, I painted um, this yellow chair, which you can barely see, and made the patchwork cover for it. We'll see all of these things as we're going along. That was another channel video long, long time ago. Um, uh, you know, will I leave a link? Probably not. <laughs> You'll find them if you go digging back. Uh, I must make playlists of these things. Uh, that's that's what I could be doing instead of doing this. I could sort out my playlists on YouTube, couldn't I? No, I've got to do this job. What's been happening here for me the last few days, uh, It's uh, today is actually um, Friday and I'll post this for you on Sunday because it might take me that long to do it. But I've had the worst computer problems. We all get computer problems, don't we? And I'm not going to go on about it too much, but this one uh, was, uh, usually I can solve them or one phone call to Apple support and it's sorted. Not this one. Uh, it was, the. I thought it was terminal. And I was going to have to buy a new computer. But it's all thanks to uh, the seventh Apple support person I spoke to, Maria from Greece, who um, sorted it all out for me. I mean, I think the other people beforehand got to various stages. You know, she didn't come in from nowhere. But anyway, all of that's dull. But suffice to say that the computer's now working again, which means that I can upload film like I'm making now. I can edit it. I couldn't do those two things before and post to YouTube, which I also couldn't do. So all the things that I need to be able to do to make our lives here at The Last Homely House with content on Patreon and content on the channel, nice and smooth running, I can do them all now. So that's all dull. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to get you, maybe it's a little bit nearer, I'm gonna work out where to put you because my plan now is to put this table, a little bit, this table here, I'm going to clear this table off and put it a little bit nearer the shelves and then put everything onto the table and make decisions about all the things that I'm going to keep and all the things that I'm going to not keep and what I'm going to do with them in the fullness of time. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. 
Now, in this video, my videos are usually around about 20 minutes, 25 minutes long, aren't they? Try to make them not too much longer than that. If you get this video in real time, it will be something like six hours. No, maybe not that long. <laughs> maybe not. But I'm going to make a start uh, and stop talking about it and start doing it. OK, can you see there? There. That's Cat Rita. And for some reason, <clears throat> that's the new place she likes to sleep. She just there's not a cushion there or anything. There's just a nice little spot at the end that she likes to sleep on. So we'll have to wait and see when it is I disturb Cat Rita because she's going to have to go, unfortunately. We'll just see how long it takes. Right. I'm going to reset the camera up then so that um, you can see what I'm doing. If there's any stories along the way, I'll show you things. And we'll, otherwise, it's just going to be me moving stuff around, which will be boring. <laughs> let's let's make a start then. <laughs> we need an apron because uh, it's much more purposeful when you wear an apron. I think <clears throat> you get more done, don't you think? Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to move this chair carefully because Sadie's asleep on it. It's all right, you don't have to move. <laughs> so this is the yellow chair that I made and the cushions for it. And I'll just pop that over there. Put everything, this is the plan anyway. It's all right, let's see how long it takes you to move. We'll move things from this side, shall we? Oh, this is going to be a very long video. Chocolate, anyone? These two beautiful cups I bought from a potter I follow on Instagram who's called Florian Gadsby. Isn't that a great name? Anyway, he makes the most beautiful pottery. He really does. And I was very lucky to get these because his stuff sells out remarkably quickly. So they're a bit, they're treasures. I have my cup of coffee out of them in the morning sometimes. So they can sit there because I don't want them, uh, anything to happen to them. So is this going to get embarrassing? Because this is some more chocolate here. Now, these are my favourites. And uh, every now and then I buy a bag of these and, and they're very big. And they've got caramel inside. And I have maybe one or two of them when I'm doing a bit of computer editing. So I've got two bags of them. So I have a chocolate pile. Right, I'm going to take all of this out now. And the first thing we find is my drums, sticks, from when I was learning how to play the drums. Because... Um, few years ago I challenged myself to do a lot of new things and one of them was learn the drums and I had a drum kit and um, I played it for about a year I had lessons and everything uh, and it was absolutely brilliant and then when my neighbours next door moved and the little boy Rory who's seven he re well he's not now he was seven then he really liked my drums it was very funny because he used to come in see how much tidying I'm doing his sweet kid, really, really nice kid. And he would come in after school. He would come home from school and he would come in. Hi, Kate, how are you doing? And and I knew that he didn't care how I was doing. What he really wanted was for me to say, do you want to go and play the drums, Rory? <laughs> but he had to have a couple of minutes of just pretending that he was interested in how how my day had gone. How are you doing, Kate? Did you, did you have a good day? Do you want to go and play the drums, Rory? Yes. And so... He would go and play the drums. And when they moved house, they only moved a short distance away, but they moved to a bigger house because there's four boys and uh, the parents. Uh, I gave him the drum kit. And so, but I kept my drumsticks in case I ever feel the need to play the drums again. It's a fantastic instrument, the drums. Really, really great. Anyway, if we're going to do that over everything I pick up, we're going to be a long time. Embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing. Oh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wine glasses. Ten wine glasses, actually. Fourteen wine glasses. I don't need fourteen wine glasses. I'm going to tell you about this pot. Now, many, many years ago, when I was maybe 22, something like that. Oh, that was a long time ago. But I worked in a place uh, with uh, people like you do. <laughs> and I had a good friend and the two of us were mates. And after three years of working there, it was a hospital, uh, I left to go and work in another place. And so like they always do in workplaces, everybody puts a bit of money in and somebody uh, buys a little present and they have a little leaving party with, you know, cups of tea and a piece of cake and all of that. And they give you a present and you open it and you say, oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. And oftentimes it's not something you want, in my experience. I mean, not that I've done that very often. But sometimes it's like when I see other people, you know, in that same situation, I would see them open a, a necklace or a or a piece of jewellery or something that someone had bought with all this accumulated money. And it would be like underwhelming. Well, I had a good friend who um, uh, we were mates, the two of us, and she was in charge of buying the, um, the gift. She said and she said to me, what do you want? Oh, how brilliant is that? So. <laughs> I um, I said, well, what I really want is uh, an Airfix model of the Starship Enterprise. That's what I really want uh, so that I can, you know, <clears throat> make this model and paint it and put all the stickers on and have it hanging in my flat. And because I was a big fan of science fiction, even back then, I mean, especially back then. I mean, that's where it all came from. I used to watch Star Trek when I was a kid, Captain Kirk and... Um, to boldly go where no man has boldly gone before, all of that. And so I said to this friend of mine, what I really want is a an Airfix model of the Starship Enterprise. Well, come the day when it's, oh, it's really sorry to see you go. I hope you wish you luck in your new job, all of that. I opened this, which is fabulous, don't you think? I mean, it's a really, really excellent ceramic pot. It's br brilliant. I don't actually use it very much and I should use it more. And I was like a bit, oh, that's lovely and it is lovely I wasn't faking it it really was lovely that's fantastic thank you very much thank you for this present and then she said and oh and there was enough money to get you one more thing and it was my model she would bought the airfix model of Starship Enterprise now I've still got this but I don't know where that model ended up gone and lost forever anyway that was that gift and that's absolutely fabulous I'm definitely not ever going to get rid of that and occasionally, you know, I do make a stew in it or, you know, that's all really. <laughs> it's fantastic because it goes in the oven. Ah, the cat has moved. She's moved. She's got the idea that I'm going to move her in a minute anyway. <laughs> OK, so I've cleared this whole section here. That's lovely and clear now. And so... Um, what do I do? I think I might put things back, otherwise I'm not going to have enough room on the table. So I'm going to put back the things I'm deciding I'm keeping and then we'll move on to the middle section. That's going to be how we do that. So these are the plates I made when I was going to my pottery and they start off with a very tiny one, which is good for, you know, one Florentine with a cup of tea and then these ones are kind of like a useful size but all very different wasn't very good at plates and then there are two here and two more in the dishwasher so I'm going to put all of those handmade plates in one pile there which leaves me with all of these which is way, way, way too many plates. What my plan is, isn't to throw these out, but out in the porch, I've got some shelves that are useful for just putting jars and things on that I don't need straight away. So I'm going to make a space and I'm going to make 
um, some, oh, there's another, oh no, that's not one. I'm going to make another place where I can put plates that I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. And then look at all these side plates. Who do I think I'm feeding here? Well, it's ages later now, because what I did was I took the first section here and put it all onto the computer to edit it, to see just how long it was going to be. And already just doing that first section and those little bits of chat, we're already on to about half an hour. So I don't think we can carry on and do it like that. So I've still got these two sections to do here. But I don't think I can, uh, we can't do that. It'll take us hours because I'm, I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm looking at everything really carefully because it's a long time since I did this and I want to make sure, I mean, I'm taking these fairy lights down. I've decided I don't need them. Here are a whole load of little tiny pots that I made for Agnes's doll's house. I didn't make them for Agnes, Agnes at the time because she wasn't born, but I made loads of these knowing that I would make a doll's house and they're all just sitting here. And then here, lots more of my little bits of pottery. So let's get them out. Let's get them all out and we, we can at least sort them. We can at least sort them out, can't we? So I'm going to take all of this section out now and put it on the table. Because you might have seen me upending these drawers here. And honestly, guys, if I was to go through every single thing with you, we would be here for a fortnight. So I've sorted that. I didn't find anything of any interest. Otherwise, I would have shown you. I'll take all of these out of here and sort them out. That's definitely one of mine. I really like that bowl. This bowl it's not thrown on the potter's wheel, like is, which is what I mostly like to do. I mostly like to throw on the wheel. But this one is built, it's a, a slump mould. No, it's not. No, it's not. This one was slip cast, beg your pardon. This one was slip cast. But then the words inside here are made with pasta letters. So I pushed pasta letters into the wet clay uh, spelling out what I wanted to say and uh, then they burn off in the kiln and leave that behind. I really like that bowl. I call it my potato bowl. Now this is a syrup tin and it says fantastic in flapjacks. I like that because it's full of coin. Bits and pieces of old ones and twos. There's probably about, I don't know, 50p in there. Bowls, bowls and more bowls. Oh, this little box. These are my little angel cars. What are they doing there? They're usually up by the bed. That's I've not been able to find those because usually every morning I give them a little shake before I get out of bed. And I close my eyes and then I select one. Ah, uh, look. Grace, that one says, and that's supposed to be my word for the day. I'll take those back upstairs. Grace. Let's try and do this gracefully, shall we? Almost certainly not. I, my mum gave me these a few years ago. I might have talked about these before, but when I was little, I remember the peas being served in here and the carrots maybe in this one and the potatoes in this one for Sunday dinner. And I just remember using them. You may have some because they're very common Pyrex dishes, these. But I just absolutely love them. One of them has got a, there, it's got a, 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 a chip, which you could break, you, you, could, you could hurt your finger on. So I don't really use them that much. Okay, I'm going to get the cloth. Put all these onto a tray. This one here, this is made out of porcelain clay. It sounds nice, doesn't it? 
and this is a little um, round bowl again that's uh, I made over a mold it's like a pinch pot almost and a spoon little wonky little spoon that sits inside it and the idea with that one is that if I make salad dressing in there you can scoop it out and put it on your salad shall I tell you how often I do that almost never but very very occasionally that would be what I would use that for and so I really like it I really really like the design of these shells with that hanging shelf there and this bowl here which I've had for many many years sits there I never use it <laughs> it's just a beautiful decorative bowl and it sits in that space there I think really beautifully so it might be that I put my one or two things back there but not all of these I'm not going to put all of these back I don't know quite where I am going to put them but then not for now the doll's house stuff is not going to go back up there no now these two here are a different type of um i i made them i i i threw them on the wheel but they're glazed and fired in a raku kiln which gives this beautiful crackle glaze and these fantastic patterns you, you never know what you're going to get with a raku kiln uh i have a friend who has a, a raku kiln just up uh, up the road from me and I made the pots and she let me experiment. So I think that they can go up there as well because I like them. And I, I had a lovely time making those and so it's a, lo a lovely memory making those with Steph. These though, these, these four, there's one more uh, that's in the wash. These are the cups that I make that I drink my coffee out of and I like these very much. And so here, I think there's going to be a place where we can put the things that I use. This one, little dish that I use to put my butter in sometimes. So, oh, these need to go back, don't they? Okay, I'll just put back some of the ones I like. Look, this thing that was up high, that can go there as well. We'll just put some pretty things here, but we won't overcrowd it. Although if we move you up there, we can put my potato bowl back where it was. There, that's okay, isn't it? How's that? So when I did my pottery course, the things that I really liked making were things like this. So I got the way of throwing with this sort of clay and putting this glaze on it and getting these lovely toasty, sort of toasty oatmeal-y colours. Looked like this. So I like these bowls. Some of them are like that. These are the ones I use a lot for puddings. And they're a bit the same with a rolled top. I like those. Having a load of different shapes and size bowls like this isn't the worst thing in the world. But there are too many. So the ones that I use most of all. are These ones. These ones with the straight sides. I like these. And I've got, hi, I'll tell you what, if I just move that, you can go back and sleep over there, can't you? Go on, you can go to sleep over there if you want to. They're like a load of nesting bowls, aren't they? That one doesn't fit there. She's a beautiful cat, this one, aren't you? Yes, you are. Go and lie down, please. Let me get on with this. Oh, you little time waster. Yes, you are. What are you doing? Go on, get your bottom out of the camera. So that's the middle section clean. Now, you might have noticed this top shelf here has got that lovely 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 tea set on it well that is just there being displayed 
uh, I'll, I'll probably never use that. If I do, it'll be an incredibly special occasion uh, and I'll be very, very careful with it. It belonged to my mum and she wanted me to have it. And so it's up there. I put it up there very recently and uh, it can just stay there. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to take, I'll take it down from time to time and make sure it's nice and clean. But uh, for now, it's fine just staying there. Now, there's a lot of things on the table that aren't going back, but that's okay because I'll just find somewhere for them. She says, hope, hoping we're not just moving the deck chairs on the Titanic, are we, Rita? Are we? We probably are, aren't we? Because now, we're going to do the worst section, which is this section here. And there's lots of papers and stuff that just gets shoved in here. And I want to make sure that um, this is tidy. It's a mess. Okay. This is, I think this is my favourite little jug. I got this many years ago. Uh, and it's, um, it's a little baby bird. And the baby bird's beak is the spout. And I really, really love that jug. So that one deserves its place here. And some of the other ones don't. Now, I bought this one quite recently uh, and it's from, a um, well, it's from a clothing designer, in fact, Gudrun from uh, Sweden, uh, but she has a homeware line as well. And they're just so colorful and pretty. So that one deserves its place back in my, uh, on the drawers, uh, on the shelves here. Then this one, this is a jug that I made and um, it's very heavy, very clumpy. It's one of the first things, the earlier things that I made. It's not glazed, it's glazed on the inside, this one. And with this one, what I feel about it is if you broke it, you could you could take it to uh, the, uh, the Roman remains up on the Hadrian's Wall here and drop bits of it in the ground and people would think it was a Roman remain. I like it though and sometimes I use it to put flowers in and sometimes I use it for water. That one stays. Um, and then this one, this again is a real favourite jug and this one was made by my teacher Andrew who uh, is my pottery teacher and it's just so beautiful. The proportions are just right and it's glazed beautifully so I like that one. That one stays. So that's four jugs there that can go back, but the rest of them are not going to go back. And then this one goes back because it can go through the wash, I think, because this is a, a useful water jug if ever there are people visiting, which, as I say, they're not, but they will be again, hopefully. So that one can go back. But then the rest of these little jugs are going to go out in the porch. Uh, and that will mean that that shelf won't be all crowded with too many jugs. This, uh, these are the baskets that I made um, a few years ago. And there's another little one that fits inside there. So those three baskets have always just lived there. I think they look quite nice. There. I really enjoyed, they were made um, not with uh, willow or uh, they were made with reeds. And this was my first go at making a basket. And the teacher was so good and so patient that I made these three nesting baskets. One of them's over there with sewing things in. So I really, I really, really like those little straight sided baskets. And then the very last bit of this video will be me showing you the kitchen cupboard finished and tidy. And if I say that, I'll have to do it, won't I? It's much later now. In fact, it's actually the next day. I'm very, very pleased with how this looks. Uh, Rita obviously likes it, Cat Rita. She's trying to decide where she's going to sleep. And let's take a closer look at everything. So I put back, so I put back some papers because I, I need to put them somewhere. And they're all papers that I need to do with various things. Fewer glasses, fewer jugs, probably about the same amount of bowls because I couldn't work out which ones not to have. Much tidier down here and along here. Cut Rita. 
Again, fewer plates, fewer wine glasses. And in here, these drawers that were such a mess. Excuse me, Rita, thank you. This is now my chocolate drawer. Everyone needs a chocolate drawer. And there you are. Just space, it's clean. The cat likes it. And next time we do anything like this, it'll be in here, which will be, well, that'll be interesting. <laughs> I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I know what some of you might be thinking. What does the rest of the kitchen look like, Kate? You might have made that look pretty, but what have you done with everything? <laughs> Well, the rest of the kitchen looks okay. In fact, I think the rest of the kitchen looks fabulous. The hens are laying again. I've got a few eggs there. This cat has taken up residence on the corner of this cupboard for some reason. 